leaving the beautiful Tanaya Lodge. Today is the day of the Shadow of the Giants 50K. I'm walking uh, to Camp Green Meadows to the start line. It's about a little more than a half mile walk. Uh, a lot has happened since the last time I was uh, brave enough to do a vlog. Ran a couple of half marathons and just last month ran my first full. Five weeks later we're, we're running my first ultra. Uh, for the most part I feel okay. I'm hoping to piggyback off my marathon training. Uh, I may be fighting a slight case of food poisoning. Um, I think I know what it was that I ate yesterday that didn't sit too well with my stomach, gave me some problems, but nothing some Pepto can't fix. So, body feels good. Stomach is so-so, not 100%, but better than it was last night. So, pretty pumped, pretty excited, a little nervous. Um, I'm pretty green as it is when it comes to running trails even more so. Uh, we have a four hour cutoff in the beginning uh, for the first half, eight hour cutoff for the entire race. So not till 3 p.m. to cover 50 kilometers. So let's go. We are 18.6 miles in. We left the halfway point with uh, 30 minutes to spare before the 11 a.m. cutoff. It's been all uphill since then. It's, it's rough sledding. For the most part, I feel okay. Uh, just one of my knees starts giving out when I start running downhill. And the heat is getting pretty tough, so. More than halfway done. I've got about 13 miles to go. And we have till 3 p.m. to finish, so. Let's go. I'm gonna fuel up right now. And then my goal is to catch him. We're on mile 23 and some change. Definitely in the pain cave, but I want it. I want it. So we're gonna go get it. Let's go. It's a couple days um, post Shadow of the Giants 50K. We did, in fact, survive. Uh, just a quick recap. Turn on the AC because it's really hot right now. Uh, chip time, official time, looks like 7 hours and 36 minutes exactly. Which is, you know, it's okay. Um, obviously, I would have liked to have done it faster. Uh, but considering that I didn't really train specifically for this 50k, um, you know, it was my first time. Uh, I guess I can't be too hard on myself. Uh, I hope to do better next time around. But you know, we did we did okay. Uh, a lot of walking early on, a lot of hiking on the uphills, uh, running on the downhills, and few times that it would be flat uh, the first cutoff I made it to the halfway point in three hours and 20 minutes which was you know decent um, it was at that aid station where I did hang around for like a good five minutes maybe just refueling restocking on 
on supplies, snacks, food, gels. Um, the second half of the race uh, was definitely harder than the first half. Uh, not just because you know, obviously you're tired now, but uh, it seemed like the uphills on the way back were a lot steeper, a lot longer. Uh, all things considered, I felt okay. had a good handle on my fueling, on my gels. Uh, I was knocking back PB and J's at almost every aid station. I was eating watermelon at just about every aid station. Uh, I was alternating between goo gels and spring energy gels. I was also alternating my salt pills between regular salt pills and caffeinated salt pills. Uh, towards the end, I did uh, I did finish all my salt pills and um, I knocked back a couple of uh, salt chews um, just to try to stay hydrated. Um, my legs were cramping up. Uh, that, that was probably the biggest issue. I felt good enough to run on the downhills, but every time I did that and I wanted to pick up the pace, both my legs would start cramping up from my hamstring all the way down to my calves, something I had never experienced before. Uh, but it was really hot out there, uh, especially the second half of the race. Uh, a lot of exposed areas, a lot of time in the sun. Um, but all things considered, you know, I, I felt pretty good. Uh, the mantra this time around was mind over matter. Something I was repeating to myself almost non-stop uh, at different times just to keep going uh, because some aches and pains would pop up here and there. Um, but yeah, we, we finished. The last two miles were all downhill, which sounds nice, but it was also probably the m most technical part of the trail because... Uh, wasn't exactly flat. There was a lot of ruts, a lot of tree roots, rocks. Um, so it was real easy to roll your ankle while trying to run downhill somewhat fast. But um, yeah, we, we made it. I was able to sprint it in at the end. 110th place, I think is what I got out of about 140. Um, and yeah, like I said, seven hours, 36 minutes, which, you know, for my first 50K, I, I do think I could have done better, but I'll take it. I'm not going to beat myself up too much. Um, so yeah, that was the 2024 Shadow of the Giants. A small little recap. Uh, ooh, a couple things. No blisters at all. Um, I credit that to the Injinji socks, the toe socks that I wore. Um, I put a lot of body glide on each of my toes and then threw my socks on. So, could have been just the socks, could have been the body glide, I'm not sure. But yeah, I was, I was really surprised that my feet came out with no blisters. All my toenails are intact. No black toenails which also was a little surprising, but yeah, so uh, shout out in Gingy Toe